Mike Attic. Three things come to mind about what was read. The first thing is where it talks about the sorted places and sorted people. Um, I think if you had to ask me um, when I was out there to uh, describe the most sorted place I could possibly imagine and put it on paper, it would be this room right here. Uh, sitting in a room with a bunch of dudes, a bunch of hardtails, for an hour, not using, and talking about God. I, that probably would have been the, the worst possible sentence I could imagine. And what's ironical about it is that uh, it was that most sordid place, that uh, the only place I found my salvation. Um, sometimes I need to reflect back from whence I came and some of the thoughts that I had. Um, because it's no wonder that they say it, because at the top of the next page, it's talking about how I also used to look at people that had a quality of life. I'm not talking about Beaver Cleaver and, you know, the perfect family, but uh, I would have looked at them like they were stupid, boring, and glum. And uh, it said, like some righteous people, I see, is what it says, you know. But in my mind, I wanted to hear self-righteous, but that's not what he says. Righteous means trying to do the right thing and giving God the credit. And there is nothing wrong with that. We should be trying to be righteous. But I was looking at those people, you fucking square, you get up every day and you put a tie on and you go to work, crazy some bitch, you know, and I had <clears throat> delusions of being some kind of, I don't know, professional doper, thief or something. I mean, you know, TV glamorizes that shit. I was off into that. You know what I'm talking about. And I was looking at that, uh, that life that I have now as stupid, boring, and glum, and that's what that chapter is trying to show me. Uh, interestingly enough, it's talking about the guy at the next top of the page. It's the second point I wanted to cover. Is uh, He's talking about, is an alcoholic dry at the moment? Says he looks better, feels better, having a better time. And, and it's talking about his ex, it has ex, it used to say ex-alcoholics, but his ex, ex-problem drinkers, we smile at this guy. We're laughing at him. And somehow... That's a subtle message that you're not supposed to say that your life is better in here for fear of some old-timer smiling at you and thinking that you want to drink, because well, that's what it says. But let's be clear about who that guy is that's saying he looks better, feels better, having a better time. He's somebody that has no steps. He's dry at the moment. He's got two days sober, and he said, thank God, but the fucking reality ain't set in on that motherfucker yet, because he's got no program. That's why them guys were smiling at him, because they know he's fixing to fall on his ass. Now, contrast that with somebody that's been here that's worked the steps, somebody that's truly recovered, like Evan here. <clears throat> now, I think it's our duty to say we look better, feel better, having a better time, because newcomers need to hear that it gets better. Because if all we did was sit around and say how fucked up we were and are, we might as well take a flamethrower to this goddamn place. But it is like what it said. I do look better, feel better, and having a better time. And if you want to smile, smile at me about that, I think that's hilarious. Because, see, it must be a fact. It must be that it changes from one point to another. Well, this whole thing is a lie. It's a sham, but it's not. I wanted to put in perspective that the guy that said that at the top of that page had no program. And he was headed for trouble. But once I have the program, I have a duty to say I look better, feel better, and having a better time with utter confidence. Because that's the kind of message we're supposed to carry. Um, the next part that jumps out at me is what it takes to be where I'm just describing. It talks about a substitute, doesn't it? And sometimes we read things and... We want to say it says something that it really doesn't say. Because I've, I've seen people read the topic right out of the book and misread it, looking right at the black letters on the page. They'll say, do you have a sufficient substitute? Yes, it's vastly more than that. It is the Fellowship of Alcoholics Anonymous. They'll read it. They'll be looking right at the book, and they'll read it, and, and that ain't what it says. It says, a fellowship in. And there's a big difference between a fellowship in and the fellowship of. you got to read the AA history books to know what the fuck I'm talking about, but I'll tell you a little bit about it. 
<clears throat> basically, the fellowship of is a rat ship of seagoing slippers. Okay? Five and a hundred make it. A fellowship in, what is that? A fellowship in, if I want to be a fellow, i got to work the steps, because any Tom, Dick, and Swinging Dick can be a, a member. Oh, I can be a member when I say I am. But if I want to be a fellow, a fellowship in, i got to work the steps. That's the substitute. Otherwise, it's saying the fellowship is a substitute, and all you got to do is sit in a meeting. Surely that's not what he's saying. I know that's not what he's saying. That's why he said a fellowship in. So it puts the onus of responsibility on me. What do you want to do, Mike? You want to be that guy whistling in the dark? Saying, oh, I feel better, you know. The judge just dismissed my fucking case. How many thousand, how many people have I seen get come from that court date, just dismiss my fucking case? They stayed sober for 60 or 90 days, and you never see them again. Why are you here? You know, at some point, what keeps me here is not what brought me here. What brought me here is certainly not going to keep me here. So if I want to have a sufficient substitute, if I want to be able to look back on my old life and say, you know what, this was that sordid place, but now it's my salvation. If I want to look back on those people that I used to say were stupid, boring, and glum, now I'm living that life trying to be righteous. If I want to have that substitute, it's more than sitting in here waiting, to, waiting to, for it to rub off by his muscles i got to work the steps and be a fellow. And being a fellow sets you apart in here, right? You're going to say things different. You're going to do things different. Yeah? Yeah? And the rat ship of seagoing slippers is going to look at you and say, who the fuck does that guy think he is? Okay, well, that's fine. I highly recommend it, though, because co-signing bullshit and people-pleasing in here kills people. Why isn't anybody in here that was here when I got here? It's because of that shit what I'm talking about. If more people would tell the truth and rattle some fucking cages in here, maybe we'll be meeting in Legion Field where we should be meeting because I am absolutely certain that this program works. I'm not talking about being fucking institutionalized and not being able to stay sober outside the confines of some warehouse that they put us in. I'm talking about living life out there free of fear and accomplishing something in life worth accomplishing. If that's the kind of thing you want to sign up for, it takes responsibility and dedication. But I highly recommend it. Because nothing worthwhile in my life that I never had to work for was just given to me. I didn't give a fuck about it. I pissed it away. Or fucking hocked it. Went to the pawn shop and hocked it. What's up with that? That's not who I am today. And it ain't nothing to joke about. Oh, I'm still a liar, cheating a thief. I hear people joking about it. Who the fuck are you talking to, dude? Don't you know newcomers are listening? So, newcomers, please stick around. Please don't be in the delusion that you can sit in this meeting and become a fellow because that's not how it works. If you feel good and, you know, you, you feel like you feel better and you work better right now, good. I'm not going to laugh at you. But I hope that you come to realize that you need to work the steps to maintain that feeling. Because in the wet-ass hour when something comes down the pike in recovery and I don't have these tools that the steps give me and I don't have the coping mechanisms and I just think being off the sauce is okay and everything's okay, I'm not going to make it through a certain trial in most spot ahead. But if I have the steps, I can make it. And those experiences in recovery build on each other. And I have a past in recovery that proves this works. You can't buy it. I can't get it from you by osmosis. But it's free if I'm willing to put half the zeal that I put out there into this. My, 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 my God has not let me down. So the first couple of pages of a vision for you are very important. And the three things I covered are the things that jump out at me. And um uh, I've had a spiritual awakening as a result of these steps, and we can go back to sitting here and look at our phones.